Hello beautiful artists, I'm Kelly Hernig and welcome to my 100 day project. On Mondays and Thursdays we'll be exploring three colors, then paint a subject to see what magic they create. Thank you so much for being here, now let's go paint. For this color palette we're using sepia which is my favorite brown of all time and I'm going to try it with this Pat's Coastal Blue. I have liked using this the last couple times on a couple of these colors. And then I'm going to add Quinn Scarlet. I want to see what the Quinn Scarlet does with this color. I don't know how it will work together since this is kind of green, greenish, and this is kind of reddish, which on a color wheel they're across from one another, so they might gray each other out. I'm not sure, but I'm really interested to see these two. So the colors are Daniel Smith. Quinacridone Burnt Scarlet, American Journey, Pat's Coastal Blue, Daniel Smith Sepia, otherwise Kelly's favorite brown, <laughs> and this is our little leaf today. I'm going to try to leave the center hole. I just really like that a lot. So let's see if I remember to do that. Of course, you'll remind me. Thank you for that. So I think I'm going to start with the Burnt Scarlet. I have Burnt Scarlet here, Sepia here, and Pat's up here. I'm also anxious to see how this and the scarlet work together on the leaf. I think that'll be a fun mix to see. Okay, start adding the pets. Did you see how it went milky right away? Need a little more water since I added that thick paint. Can you already see the difference? So let me bring that up. Do you see how vibrant the first line is and how kind of milky and chalky looking the second one is? That's what is the Pat's Coastal is doing to it. So it's going to dull it down quite a bit. For me, it's making it a more usable color in my palette. almost turning like a, it's almost like it's a gray color, but it's almost like a mauve color, if that makes sense. I'm seeing some purple tendencies to it, and I'm wondering if that's the orange and this gray mixing together. getting to the end of my book so my page wants to keep lifting. Oh, now that's a pretty color. Add the Pat's Coastal by itself here. A 
We're going to start adding sepia, and I have to be careful because sepia is such a powerful color. If you've never used sepia before, it is a very rich, dark color. You saw just the smallest bit. Look at how powerful that is. It's one of my favorite browns because if you mix it with buff titanium, you get a really great like kind of color for bark. I was hoping this would turn kind of a greenish color and the gray is a little there. This almost looks like gray titanium, this color here that I mixed. A little more on the brown side, but look how pretty. Need a little bit more water. Do you see the richness of this brown? It is richer than burnt umber and it's not quite as orange as burnt umber, but it's not quite as dark as Van Dyke Brown, if that helps you imagine what this color is. And we're going to go straight to sepia. Now look at this. So we started with two really rich colors. One's more vibrant than the other. And as they come together, you can see them grain because of this Pat's Coastal. I really wish I could have stepped this out a little bit more so that I would see more values between that one and that one. But that's okay. This is what you learn about doing color mixes. But this really stepped out wonderfully. And I, I want you to take a look at this because I want you to see the coloration here. It's almost like a gray color. Like I'm thinking of acrylics and we had a hippo gray color and that's kind of what it reminded me. So this is the Burnt Scarlet. And how would you describe that color, right? I, I had a hard time trying to tell you what that was. But look at these grays right here, these three grays. See how they're more on the green gray side? And then as you get down here, you get these really nice browns. So I want you to think of doing a tree with that color to start with, and then you deepen this color, and then you deepen this color. I wouldn't go to the full one because it's a little too bold, too intense. But if you stayed in this color range, you would get really, really nice tree bark. Okay, let's see. I want to explore the burnt scarlet and the brown for sure on this leaf. And remember, I've got that hole in the center, so I want to try to keep that. Okay, I want to start with some of that Pat's color first. And I really want to color this down, get more of that blue in there, and let's see what happens, or that blue-green. And I should have erased my lines. They're kind of heavy. Okay. 
going to go into the brown and kind of mix all three of them there. Ooh, look at that already. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this color down to the stem here. I like the idea of a really bold stem. get some of that blue over here. I keep calling it blue. It's the coastal blue. Okay, let's get some of that burnt scarlet in here. What a beautiful color. Now what would you do with that color? What applications would you have for it? I thought of summer fruit. I don't know why. Like a dirty watermelon or something like that. I want to take some water and just put it on here for just a second because I want to lift some of that. There we go. It's not so dark now. Okay, this, the coastal, and a little bit of sepia. Got a couple dry spots. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back when that's dry. This is how it dried. And you can see here all these little spots now are dry. They look really, really nice. And then this is a beautiful colorway of all of these muted tones in the middle. I want you to think of just a lighter value because this is the way that I would use them in my art. They're really, really pretty. And I can start here and I can always add to get it a little darker and a little deeper and richer. So I'm gonna bring this up so you can see how pretty it is. Look at all the watermarks. You can see the scarlet up here mixing with the coastal with a little bit of brown. I think this was a mix of all three of them up here, but I like how the coastal kind of stuck out by itself. I really like the darkness of the sepia, how it soaked in around the water there. This is really pretty, how it's just a little section of this burnt scarlet. I like over here the how it mixed the sepia and the Pat's Coastal together.
but then I love the richness too of hair mingling again. Let's see if I can get it all in one shot for you. There you go. So look how pretty that looks. So what would you do with this colorway? Do you see where I said it reminds me of bark now? Tree bark. It's also a great color for mushrooms. All those colors are good for mushrooms. Lichen, Spanish moss, that kind of stuff. That's what I'm seeing in this whole palette. It's really, really pretty. The colors again were Daniel Smith Quinacridone Burnt Scarlet, American Journey Pat's Coastal Blue, and Daniel Smith Sepia. Thanks for watching. I hope this palette has inspired you like it has me. It's been a pleasure painting it for you.